wanted to share with you is specifically my creative process. And that can go in a hundred different directions. But what I'm going to focus on is what I hear a lot of questions during my art class. Um, a lot of people think I sit down and I just paint. Um, and it comes really easily because when I teach, it comes fairly easily. Uh, but um, anybody who has put brush to canvas knows that it is a challenge sometimes. So my creative process involves um, what I call spirit. And um, it doesn't necessarily involve religion or uh, a path, uh, like a spiritual path like you might think. It's uh, energy. So how I like to explain it is, have you ever walked into a room and you felt like, wow, somebody just like had an argument in here, or this just doesn't feel right? All right, that's, that's what I refer to as spirit. So I call it subtle energies, and that's literally what I paint with. So the back wall back there, all those pieces, those were all created in a four hour period using the subtle energies of where I was in that moment. And each one of them, all of my students, were paintings at one time that hung on my walls and I painted over them. <laughs> That's a really big deal for some people because you get really attached to artwork. You know, something you spent weeks or months on and it's, <laughs> it's incredible. Um, but the most important thing to my process is complete detachment. And that means I'm not focusing on how good it looks, how bad it looks. I don't focus on what I'm trying to get to or if it's going to sell or if somebody's going to like it. I focus on how I feel in the moment and that's all I feel. And tonight I'm gonna to demonstrate what that looks like. Um, the canvas is just a little intimidating large for most of you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Mostly these, these size paintings take me about 20 minutes to paint. Um, this one I prepared with gesso, but you may remember what was underneath of it just a few days ago. It was the big, huge blue and brown piece that's been hanging in my gallery next door for about a year and a half. <laughs> yes, it's gone now. Maddie, don't you be mad at me. <laughs> Yeah. Well, let me tell you something. Um, the canvas itself was gifted to me years and years ago. Um, a person that um, we've broken ties with. And I've evolved as a person, as an artist since then, and it still had for me that energy. So I tried painting over it, and that's what that painting was. I used blue to soothe that feeling. I used brown to bring Mother Earth in. And it just didn't do it for me. You know, it hung because people said, oh, look at the horse. I like that. So I stopped because other people liked it. And it hung on my wall, and there it was. So on uh, Thursday, after everyone was gone, I had the best time with my hands, and I just jessed right over that. <laughs> it was amazing. It was so therapeutic, and I highly recommend it to anybody who has stacks of their paintings at home. And they, <laughs> and, and they just don't know what to do with them anymore. And I recommend this to uh, uh, the people that come and do the sip and paints because they do a lot of sip and paints around town. Well, just just right over them and create something new. It feels good. It's very therapeutic, and I highly recommend it. Um, another uh, touch point about my creative process. Um, these are um, a lot about texture and movement and transition. So you'll see when I start to um, add color to the painting, it'll transition, you'll like the part, it'll transition again, you'll get ticked off at me because you'll like that part and I changed <laughs> it anyway. Um, it's about uh, being in the moment and allowing the paint and the colors to tell me what it wants to be. In the end, those pieces, I added pigment to them because it adds another um, dimension that uh, when you hang it in your home, you feel uh, the, the shift. You feel the uh, extension of the, the uh, metallic pigments. Um, so the sunlight will come in, it'll hit it in a different way, it'll take you to a different place. So as an artist, that was me taking it to another level that maybe the viewers can experience what I experience. Does that make sense? 
right, so that's why I started incorporating a lot of the pigments, the metallic and the iridescence, um, the bronze and the gold into these other pieces that you've seen. Um, people have asked me about um, the, uh, the names. Like, uh, one of the hardest things to do is name your piece. Uh, for me, it's not. Uh, the, the one up here, uh, Forgiveness, uh, it's, it's something that I, many people have already tonight just to come up and, and talk to me. It's, it's touched them. Um, I didn't feel that as I was painting it. So it's not like I said, I'm going to paint a piece about forgiveness because I feel like I need to forgive somebody. It's not like that. It's, I'm going to move through these colors and I'm going to completely disappear and be in another dimension for about 15 minutes. And then I'm going to step back, and then I'm going to see how I connect with that piece. And a memory or a thought comes up, and then something happens with me, and I'm affected by my own piece. So it's, a, it's that very neat collaborative experience of I felt it, I let go of it, and then I bonded with it. So it's kind of a neat little way. So I'm just going to open the floor for any questions at all for just a couple minutes, and then I'm going to start the demonstration. Thank you. 